for all of you international students or prospective international students now going to the country of your choice for the first time, we're going to be talking about what are the things that you should be packing with you. It's very important that you understand that because if you miss out on certain things, right, a lot of times what can happen is you end up bearing huge expenses just because you forgot. So I'm trying to make this list as exhaustive as possible. Some things may be irrelevant for you. They may be relevant for someone else. As far as you can understand that, right, we're good and we're good to go. Let's actually get started with the packing list. First things first, of course, take a look at the bags. The bags are the most important part because that's what you are going to put your stuff into, right? So my recommendation, make sure that you take a look at the recommended dimensions that your flight, of course, the whichever flight you're going into, right, has recommended. Generally, the ones that you're going to come across, the best, best ones, I would say, I'll just name the brands over here. Take a look at American Tourister. I personally use American Tourister a lot and uh, their bags have helped me a lot. But of course, on the screen, you will find many more alternatives. All right. Once you have your bags in place, what are the major, major important things that you want to add? The first thing I would say, if you're not doing well, you can't really do anything, right? Have your medicines in order. And the very basics after COVID are make sure that you have hand sanitizers and plenty of masks in your bag. They don't take up a lot of space. And of course, these things are things that you will need on a daily basis almost during times of COVID, of course. And you know, COVID has not gone completely, so you still need them with you. You can also keep things like face shields. You can keep things like multivitamins, depending on whether you are someone who uses them, right? But only put things that you use on a daily basis. Do not add things such as multivitamins if you don't really use them. If you don't use them, don't add them because that would basically mean that you're carrying around waste with you that you're probably not going to be using anytime soon. And of course, either have a medical kit, you know, or a med or a pouch basically where you can put all of your medicines, right? Coming to the medicines, I want to give you a very small brief as to what you should be carrying with you, right? Just so you don't forget. So, you know, medicines for fever, cold, and you know, body pain, you know, painkillers, aspirin, things like that you should always have in your bag. So you could have something like Dolo, you could have something like Crocin, some sort of paracetamol. Then of course, uh, just in case you feel nauseous, you should have something to avoid vomit, right? So you could look at Avomine, you could look at other things, of course, depends on what you prefer over here. Of course, if you're someone whose skin is very, very sensitive and you don't really believe you can adapt to newer places or temperatures, make sure that you have things that help you get rid of that you know that skin infection that you may develop so have things like that of course medicine for the common cold stomach ache or even the nasal spray these things should certainly certainly be a part of your baggage or basically medicines which you take during diarrhea but whichever basically things that you come across or you know you know that okay i am actually very prone to getting this disease or this sickness and this happens to me a lot make sure that you have those things for the very least and apart from that have a very basic you know, safety kit, right? Safety kit, have band-aids in there, have, you know, things that you would need on a daily basis so that you don't have to actually run to the markets just to get these things. Because you're going to a new country, of course, first aid kit is probably the first thing that should come to your mind. Let's talk about the electronics. Very important stuff, guys. Remember, do not buy your laptops, do not buy your iPhones, do not buy your any gadgets, I would say, that are going to take up a lot of space. If you know that, okay, I don't have a very good laptop and I would like to buy one and I can't carry the existing one. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, buy it from the country you're going to. If you're going to the US, Canada, Germany, for the most part, you will find good laptops in these countries at very good prices. So don't actually go overboard buying stuff from your own country at this moment. Instead, go ahead, buy it from there. The good part about that is, of course, you know, you don't carry it. That means that your bag is free to carry more stuff. That means you have basically created space, right? Secondly, you get warranty from that exact country where you're going into, where you're going to be spending at least the next two years, right? So you get warranty over there and hence you can actually utilize it over there, which is very, very important. But of course, some things that you absolutely must carry with you are things like power banks, all right, which you may need during your flights. You may have like a 30 hour flight, for instance, you know, I'm not saying a long one, one long flight, but of course, you know, you may have it in parts, you may have layovers in between, etc, etc. So make sure that you have power banks. I also like to add things like the trimmer, you know, just in case because you don't want to go to, to a different country and buy a trimmer first thing over there. So just in case you have one, you know, carry it. Otherwise, of course, you can always buy it over there. Things like chargers, cables, and there's, there's basically international adapters, of course, that you must carry, you know, 
adapters like this, which basically can work in almost any country that you go to. These are generally called universal adapters and I would say that while they are not the best ones out there, you should definitely pack at least two of these in your bag because you never know which airport, which country, right, you're going to, right? And just in case you haven't booked your flights, this is still a good option because I actually had a layover, let's say, in China and I was actually able to use this universal adapter over there when I was having a layover. Of course, make sure to carry your earphones, make sure that you're using your AirPods, whatever you have already with you, right? Make sure that you're carrying those because of course, earphones are very important during flights. I do understand that. In case you want some storage and you already have some over here in your country, let's say hard drive, etc., etc., whatever you have, you can basically pack that as well. Just don't forget these things. I'm pointing them out. But if you don't have these and you would like to buy these, buy them from the country you're going to. Let's talk about food and spices. Very important, a lot of people get confused with these things. What can we carry, what can we not carry? See, as long as whatever you're carrying is not liquid, that's good enough. You can carry a lot of things that are not liquid in terms of food, in terms of, you know, even by the way, those those packed dolls, right? For all of those Indians out there who, who like to have those dolls and you know, a lot of companies make them, right, ready-made, packed and all you have to do is you basically have to heat them and you can eat you can carry those as well by the way and i've actually gotten them through to many countries uh, even the us which is basically known for one of the most strict checking you know that happens even after you get down at the airport they still check you a lot they, they check your bags again and again right so that's completely fine don't worry about it you can have masalas you can have maggi you can have all sorts of dry snacks my personal favorite is to carry some protein bars because a lot of times what happens is you're not in a position to basically spend money but you know or or you really just need some quick food maybe or you don't have the currency in the country where you're stopping for a bit right etc etc and over there things like protein bars they can help you a lot so masalas whatever kind of masalas you like if you do cook by the way a lot of people i know they don't cook personally i don't cook a lot that's fine don't worry about it but if you do cook and you like your masalas carry your masalas with you that's completely okay you do not need to worry about it you can get them in another country as well but just in case you know this is sort of like a thing which you use almost on a daily basis carry it with you because you don't want to go ahead and the first thing you want to do is run out to get groceries and you want to get this that have some some sort of you know i would say backup a little bit of food a little bit of masalas a little bit of preparation material with you okay let's talk kitchenware very important over here I personally do like to carry one of those pots which basically you can just use on an induction cooker or you could just use on top of gas, right? You could just basically heat them up in any way you want, right? And you can quickly cook your food in that. And I personally like to carry one of those. They may not be very, very steep or even if they're steep, you can put some things inside it. But, you know, I personally like to carry one of those pots because essentially what happens is when you're going to a new country, you may not be able to find the right utensil, etc, etc. So I like to carry those as long as they're not too heavy of course carry a little bit of other utensils such as maybe just two spoons two forks right uh, and it's completely okay to carry forks by the way um you can even carry knives but of course uh, avoid carrying it in the baggage that you are taking on the plane of course right so that's common sense of course add it to the baggage that is going in and you're not going to have access to it so what that means is your checking baggage which is which is basically not going to be carried on with you on the plane you can add all of these things over there you could carry maybe one of those glasses right I, I personally like to carry one or two glasses because i am a fan of protein shakes so a lot of times what i would like to do is i would like to add some protein shake in a glass just you know add some water and drink it so a lot of times you need all of these things and all of a sudden if you have to go and shop for these it's a little bit difficult it's a little bit inconvenient people can do that if you have the capacity for it do it but i personally like to carry some of these as long as i'm going to a country to study for the first time and of course that reminds me if you are into protein shakes make sure that you have the protein powder a little bit of it you don't have to carry the whole box but you know maybe just a little bit of it of course when you are carrying some utensils there is the matter of carrying some some stuff that can help you clean those utensils right so you could potentially take some of that maybe you could take something like pro liquid and one of those you know scrubs that can help you clean your utensils and that's completely okay you do not need to worry about that getting stick stuck in checking etc etc well after your utensils are sorted let's talk about some of the most important things that you guys would probably not forget but still let me talk about those of course your undergarments your t-shirts your shirts your suit of course try to have a suit in there right your shoes your socks your you know ties whatever you like to wear 
have all of those clothes in if you like to go to the gym and you have tank tops you know which i personally love so add those as well make sure that you have a jacket for when it's really cold outside at the same time make sure that you have some shorts for times when it's really hot or when you would just like to you know wear shorts in your apartment or something and you just really don't want something really really heavy yet so all of those things you have to add and you have to really think about those depending on who you are what your personality is the clothing will certainly be very very different but one important thing is do not forget your flip-flops because those are probably going to get you through the day. I would also add some sweatpants. Depends on exactly, you know, what kind of activities you carry out, what kind of clothing you like to wear. So I'm going to leave this section to you. It depends from person to person. Of course, accessories again are the exact same. Make sure that you have your belt in there if you like to wear one, your ties, your sunglasses. You know, it could be anything that you personally like to wear. But yeah, one or two things that are really important over here would be towels make sure that you have your towel in there and make sure that you have things like hand gloves or mufflers in there for times when it is really really cold depends on exactly where you're going but for the most part i would really like to carry these as a precaution anyway of course that brings us to personal hygiene it depends now on what you personally like to carry with you of course it could be things like deodorant it could be things like brush toothpaste you know shaving kits etc depending on whether you're a man or a woman as you can understand things will be gravely different over here of course right personal hygiene is very different from personal to person and of course you should definitely look into what you have been using but my only recommendation for this section is only add the things that you have been using for the last couple of years or at least the last couple of months don't add things that you think you might need especially if you don't have space in your bags because that's probably a sign that you're doing exactly that. So avoid adding things that you don't usually use or you know you're not gonna use for the most part. So stay clear of them because for the most part, you're just adding crap to your bag that you're not going to be using and you're gonna be throwing away at the end of the day. Of course, some things that are really important are things like nail cutters, which people often forget. Of course, try to add them. And of course, be ready for the place. If the place that you're going to has a lot of heat and you know you know that sun is going to be affecting you over there a lot more than it has been affecting you in your country, you know. So things like some SPF would certainly, certainly help. Of course, that's most of the things that you should be carrying, but that does not mean that that's probably all. Of course, for instance, everyone's different. I would not go anywhere without my camera. I would not go anywhere without my DSLR or at least without my GoPro. So these things would certainly need to be accounted for depending on who you are. But remember, there is of course an Instagram post with all of this shown to you in writing. So just in case you forget any of this and you'd like to make notes, etc., etc., all of that has already been documented for you on the post. The link is going to be in my description. Make sure to check it out. And I hope to see you in the next one. I wish you all the best for your travels. And I hope that you have an amazing journey ahead of you.